Oh my goodness, have I got a huge story for you that I, I'm not trying to, I don't even know what to say. I almost went live with this because the editing just takes so much time, but I know there's no way I'm supposed to be getting ready for my indoor exercise because it's raining outside. I can't go for my run. I know there's no way that I could do my exercise with this sitting on my heart. So I entreat you, watch the entire share, share with everybody you know, because it's just, there's internet sleuths out there who oftentimes solve cases that nobody else was investigating. And when it comes to radiation, there's some good folks out there doing investigation, but with Black Us, ain't nobody putting this genocide out here. So there's no doubt. And so I ask you to watch the entire share. And just in case you don't know, I'm Sister Ajali Shabazz. I've written books trying to get our attention to a genocide that I'm going to just lay it out here. And I have soaps so that I can finance testing our food for radiation. There are Japanese housewives doing exactly that. I don't see any reason why we have to rely on these devils who are hiding this epically using black operatives all over social media who think it's just a business description to participate in a genocide. All of these platforms have been censored and monitored and shadow banned and ghettoized so that you think I'm about nothing, but let me share right here. This is the article that just got my blood racing this morning, so much so that I, sh I should be sweating right now, but I know I got to put this out first. Hemp seed grower on high after scooping hefty grant to develop salmon feed ingredient. It's a mysterious ingredient. What you think? This ingredient is, let me read as much of this as I can. Maui, the world's largest salmon producer, is supporting the formulation and production of the feed. Rare Earth Global, which is developing hemp seed as a sustainable protein source for Scottish salmon feeds, has received more than 260,000 pounds, which is the equivalent of 332,000. $112 from the UK Seed Innovation Fund. This is a governmental fund for a full-scale research and development project that includes, includes more money. This is just the, the initial investment that's going on. What the hell would they be going to do, do? Salmon need hemp? You do if the fishing industry is collapsing. Uh, but let me go over this company. That's all they do is hemp. Rare Earth Global is a UK headquartered company focused on simplifying access to sustainable industrial hemp products. That's all they do. They don't do salmon feed. Uh, but they are pro promoting themselves as decarbonizing industry. With hemp, what do they use hemp for? Uh, it is the number one phytoremediator of radiation that is known to man, woman, and child. Hemp and the decontamination of radioactive soil. Hemp science is now advancing in leaps and bounds compared to the stagnation of the previous few decades. Yeah, that's because they are removing any hurdles in its production. This is a plant that is truly extraordinary but it conflicted with the oil industry because you could even turn hemp into fuel to propel engines and so the oil industry the fat cats there say oh no we got to outlaw all hemp 
all not just you know smoke the smoking weed kind by the way smoking marijuana will kill you uh for two reasons number one it's going to more than likely have plutonium in it i could test your hemp for you if i get that equipment go buy the soap at twenty five thousand year cycle right um but the other factor is it's irritating to the lungs to the alveoli to take in smoke of any kind smoke inhalation is not something you ever hear about that's positive Right. So you want to avoid the hemp. I think that's another reason why they made it legal, because they knew they were going to take out a whole bunch of young folks uh, with lung cancer, because that's what plutonium causes. There has never been found a small enough amount of plutonium to not cause cancer. All right. And so hemp is being used all this time with Chernobyl, and it hasn't managed to get enough of the radiation out of the soil so that Professor Bandashevsky did recent testings just last year, found out that it's pretty much the same level of readings as were there before. But I would hazard a guess that's also because Chernobyl is still emitting radiation. That's why they had to change the concrete sarcophagus. And they put on a steel one, but I wonder if that's not the whole reason for the war in the Ukraine and because that's where Chernobyl is situated um it's killing people and they want to hide that death and also it's more than likely going to explode and hence all of these friggin I, I mean they're supposed to be so civilized but you got these world leaders out there saying we gonna drop a mother of bombs no they are using radiation all over the planet and now they need to re reduce the complete epic collapse of salmon uh, this is an article that i had highlighted a while back kirkland teen earns national recognition for art project about salmon restoration this thing is so friggin psychopathic in its intention is just ridiculous I, I can't play it but let me grab some clips they're talking about this huge project I mean, it's just, look, the whole community is coming on out. And th this young man, along with helpers, waxes eloquently about how he's always been into art. I, I, I wish him all the best. I think, I don't know, hopefully he has other artwork. That's amazing. Uh, but he doesn't seem very, like, I, I really don't think that he should quit his day job. Um, but I'm just saying, he's painting this whole mural called save our salmon and nobody in during this whole celebration is talking about anything to do with the salmon they're just going over him getting this award uh, what this is a distraction uh, this is the boiling frog method of turning up the temperature so that people will feel as if something is happening and not a damn thing is going on. I have highlighted so many articles over the fishing bands, over all the missing sea creatures. I mean, how many tumored creatures do I need to share with this, this particular fish here? Has two mouths, two eyes, right? It, and the mutations are just off the chart, and they're trying to make everybody think that mutations are just, you know, fun and wonderful. It's just being different. Stop. They know about this stuff. They know all the hazards, all the dangers that's in all of these books that are covering the entire history of radiation. So if this is just a generational genocide i'm sharing the book list because they depend on our ignorance and there were a couple of books that i even forgot to share because it's just such a large list that i've accumulated because of your donations because of your purchases that i put in the response to dear brother yapo yapa's 
thank you for the list where you just, there you go. They know. These dudes are depending on our complete ignorance over what radiation does. And that is gigantic because it's not just going to affect and is not only affecting black us, even though with that CMOS campaign, uh, they are full scale targeted genociding black you and me because there ain't a place on this planet that hasn't been found contaminated with radiation. This is a map produced by the International Atomic Energy Agency. And and I don't know, I don't like to believe that these guys are, you know, this focused on me. But then again, I can never be sure. These dudes have an awful lot at stake. The only reason why it took them so long and I gained such a foothold in black social media uh, was because the overwhelming majority of people haven't got a freaking clue about radiation. They still don't. They still don't. But some have started to get an inkling. So usually I come on over here and this sucker will open up for me and I could just go and click on one of these little dots here. I can't do that this moment can't do that this moment but i don't need to if you put your sleuth cap on and recognize that if they're sending producing specifically a hemp product so that salmon will eat something that they would ordinarily never ever even eat something that absorbs massive quantities of radiation so much so uh, that the This corporation is even using it uh, to reduce the levels of radiation in the waters. That would be the only reason for it. And I saw a story the other day where in the UK there was a whole bunch of swimmers who went into the waters surrounding the UK. I don't know which ones, and they all got incredibly sick. Right? There's Sellafield up there, which keeps on spitting out massive quantities of radiation and they can't stop it and so i'm just saying maybe maybe not right but all i know is is when these dudes i've been watching so many documentaries i can't watch the ones about them murdering each other anymore because that's just too disturbing i can't tolerate violence and i'm so glad about that but these cons and how You know, like one just out of the jar, Bernie Madoff. Um, And all the people at the SEC, the Securities Exchange Commission, who saw what he was doing, knew what he was doing, just turned a blind eye. They didn't get prosecuted. You got folks in these governmental uh, agencies that work with all kinds of folks that's how when I heard about Julia Assange's WikiLeaks, when I saw there was a cast of characters who were never even mentioned in any of that, I said, oh, he working for them too. And then you find out later on that he was part of a MK Ultra programming center as he was growing up in my investigations as reported. All right? I'm just saying, these folks, this genocide has been co-signed by all the satanic elites up top. But we can shut it down simply because there are cures and because when you kill oceans, you lose. Not the overwhelming majority of just common people are going to go along with destroying the entire planet and speaking of poop. Folks don't want colon cancer. There's people out there trying to equate it with the pokey pokey thing, Uh, like Jill Biden, all right? That's something in your bloodstream. This is a colon cancer epidemic in young folks. Young folks will have greater rates of cancers because radiation gets absorbed as nutrients and most of um, i can't put myself out all the time i'm just like we black people we black people this is on you if you are eating the standard american diet it, that acronym sad it's for real right so you are getting very scant nutrition 
but you're getting plenty of radiation and your body's going to be in a desperate state and try to absorb it all. In the meantime, where's it going to all this radioactive food, especially you down in that sea moss or that radioactive rice is being shipped from Japan for free to just African nations. Where is it going to go and sit first, especially with the diet you're eating? You ain't getting regular poops going on, right? It's going to go down into your colon and sit there. All that stuff just popping off massive quantities of energy. It's going to cause colon cancer. Yeah, it ain't coming through your bloodstream, right? And so these dudes are in a free-for-all trying to explain it all away. Where they're like, oh, these are the reasons, the seven factors for you getting this disease. And they had the nerve to put this meme together if you're in your late 40s. This happened to the younger folks, okay? If you don't use their allopathic toxic medications, ain't a one of them that doesn't interfere with your body's natural processes, including aspirin. Okay, and drinking, mm -hmm, drinking's bad, but people have been drinking forever. We're talking about a rise, okay, and relatives with cancer. Cancer don't run in your family eating crap. That runs in everybody's family, all okay? right, and not knowing about radiation, that has been something they've set up. They've set up deliberately World Health Organization back in, I think it's the 1950s, stated they were going to create a culture of ignorance and fear where people would not know a damn thing about radiation whatsoever. And that's what we're living in right now, right? And so they had high insurance copay. Really, colorectal cancer is caused by high insurance copay. Stop. No regular, more allopathic and higher disease burden. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, not a single mention of radiation. And for those who are smart enough to know, nah, that can't be it. They got a whole nother reason right in front of you. So you don't recognize, you don't do any further research. You don't do any further sleuthing so that you can find out that there's cures and for this. They're not talking anything. Where are they saying that they're now shipping all food from Fukushima? Fukushima soil just as radioactive as it was before. That's from the Mayanichi News. Let me show that one too. You can look it up for yourself. They might have removed it by now because they removed this sort of stuff. Little result from decontamination efforts at nearly 12,900 sites near Fukushima. That's just the ones they tested. What would be the odds that it would be at all these different sites? And then in between the sites, there'd be no radiation whatsoever. Okay? And they store that stuff right near the farms. And so, whoa, whoa. When... You see this alert, it's not saying the radiation is no longer in the stuff they're going to be importing. It's just saying they won't warn you about it. And so those uh, investigations into the cause of the extreme rise in colon cancers, it, it doesn't have anything to do with radiation. No, 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 of course not. And here's the very Food and Drug Administration, okay? It's on their website, the very place I got the copy of the meme from. They ain't explain anything in depth because they don't give a damn about a one of us, okay? They just say, we're going to be de deactivating the alert. There you go. Good luck. They don't even say good luck, okay? They just blow smoke in our eyes, right? And just... Tell us whatever the heck crap they think. We are so overwhelmed and so scared uh, that we won't do anything about it. I'm like, hell no. You can't kill the whole freaking planet. And everybody's going to be a coward. Everybody is going to be into graft and corruption. All these friggin' black giant channels are. I would, I accuse them all. Because I've gone to just about all of them and said, could you, you could you do some investigation? One of them, a couple of them. I'm talking about the big ones, not good people, okay, who did do some. But the real big ones who even came out and, you know, oh, yeah, Fukushima's really big, looking scared the whole time they were saying it. Because some they got a call probably in the middle of the night. Look, you got to do a video going over Fukushima. We'll tell you what to say. 
And they were just saying what was approved of by the nuclear industry in the first place. Yeah, because as they were doing it, now I'm not going to say the name, right? As they were doing it, they just looked scared as hell. Because they knew, I didn't know what the heck is going on here. Why would I get a call from my owner, from my master, who he's always just usually just dropping the money in my GoFundMe, my Patreon. They don't call me. Right? Well, that's because I went to your channel and you ignored it. And a bunch of you set up a whole friggin' triangulated sting operation on my channel. Right? This is crazy. NPR, Pacific Northwest, Northwest Tribes face climate change with agricultural ancient practice. Since when is eating an ancient practice? This church trying to make fun of the fact that everything's dying. Right? Go to, he calls it Nuclear for Dummies, I think, Dana Durnford's channel, where he was going up in the boat just a, a month ago. It's still just as dead, because once you kill a whole species, they don't come back. Nine billion, they said, missing crabs. And brother Mad Black TV and me we were the only ones who even went over it my brother yappa yappa would have covered it but he's busy writing books like i'm doing right now myself so i gotta get off of here but i'm just saying i couldn't just i couldn't I, th this would have been in you're in my heart you're in my heart and so i don't want to say any more just go to twenty five thousand years cycle dot org Get your heel on with Dr. Z, who his products, we, we were attracted to each other because we're the same level of committed to the truth, to honesty, to realness. And we look at these devils and we don't see nothing of that. So we're producing our own. We're producing what all of black us deserve. The whole world deserves honesty. But most of them, they'd be like, oh, but I'm so scared of them black people. They're so violent. What? Stop it. Okay? Go there because you deserve to have products produced by people who love you. That's it. Share the video. Peace and blessings straight. Black family pride. And we are forever.